I'm the director of the Magnus Grossi Center uh, in Shiva Medical Center in Israel. And as is very well known, uh, the process of vaccination has been started very early in Israel, already in December 2020. Therefore, we have been uh, really um, occupied with vaccinating our MS patients. And at the beginning of the uh, vaccination process, we actually asked uh, all our patients uh, that uh, were um, negative for uh, COVID-19 infection to come and uh, get the uh, vaccination. And in Israel, all the population received only one type of vaccination, only the uh, Pfizer uh, BioNTech uh, vaccine. Um, so therefore, we had a very large population that was vaccinated and we could gather uh, significant data in relation to the humoral immune response of the vaccine, as well as of the adaptive cellular immune response. So what we have found is uh, that patients with multiple cirrhosis uh, develop a, a similar uh, humoral and cellular immune responses as to the uh, non-MS population, that means the healthy uh, population. Uh, however, we had uh, two uh, outliers in, in this, um, in this uh, group of MS patients, which were patients treated with um, two medications that um, prevented them to develop appropriate immune response. And, and these uh, medications are fingolimod, uh, which is uh, very well-known drugs uh, for multiple cirrhosis, uh, for the relapsing or meeting uh, type of the disease. Um, and uh, also we had uh, a decreased immune response in patients treated with ocrelizumab, which is um, a B-cell depletion therapy uh, that is being uh, administered to MS patients either with a relapsing or meeting disease course and with... Uh, for patients with primary progressive disease. Uh, and what we have found is that um, patients that are treated with uh, Gilenia or Fingolimod that have very low lymphocyte counts, uh, so uh, meaning that um, below 1,000 cells per ml, which is, uh, let's say, a kind of uh, a barrier, um, Actually, most of them, I would say more than 95%, failed to develop appropriate immune response. So they could not mount uh, IgG antibodies to the vaccination. And therefore, in spite of receiving the vaccine, um, they, they actually are not protected from the point of humoral immune response. And when we further assess these patients for... Um, later immune response for the cellular response, again, uh, we could not find uh, appropriate uh, adaptive immune response for this subject. And currently, there is really uh, a debate what we should do. But the first stage is to inform the patient that they failed to develop humoral immune response. And so they are not protected. They should keep their mask. They should keep uh, social distance. Um, and in Israel, when you are vaccinated, you get this uh, green card, so you can go all around. So they were vaccinated, they get the green card, but actually it is not really effective because they can enter everywhere, but they are not uh, actually uh, protected. So it's important to let them know and uh, also to take measures uh, for, uh, for the future. What should we do? Should we stop treatment? Um, for this subject, uh, it is really a very complicated uh, question because um, we don't want to harm their immune modulating treatment. It is protecting them from the disease uh, progression, from relapses. Uh, but on the other hand, if they want to get vaccinated, what should we do? Should we switch them to another more vaccinating safe therapy? So maybe to, to switch them to another medication that they can be vaccinated on. Um, one of the options is to stop the treatment for four to six weeks to increase their lymphocyte count and then to vaccinate them. 
So uh, actually, this is uh, one of the uh, options that we are uh, doing currently. And, and we want to see whether when we are stopping uh, treatment and the lymphocytes counts are rising, whether they will get uh, a third dose and would be vaccinated. 